Well, what you're referring to is, is, is a phenomenon that 20 years ago uh, was evident, but not quite as obvious it is, as it is today. And that is that, that most of the information that you got through the ground, through wires and physically, would, would in fact come through the air. And most of the things we got through the air, like television, would come through the ground, that there would be this switch between sort of the wired and wireless worlds in terms of where, what was traveling where. Um, it's even hard for people to imagine today that telephones were wired, and they certainly were, and you went to the end of a wire to make a phone call. Um, that switch was, was very fundamental, as was the sort of natural convergence that happens when things are digital. When things are digital, they're all ones and zeros, so they commingle in ways that we didn't anticipate. And you could do things that were, you know, not like publishing or television or computers, but were sort of some intersection of those. And that got known to be convergence. So between the switching or trading of places and the convergence, you have today's, you know, media. Now, what is the analog today that 20 years from now we're going to look back and say, well, yes, that was evident today and is a very profound change. And while I can't say it in 10 words or less, what I can assure you is that it has to do with the space between biology and silicon, the things that are uh, part of the natural sciences and, and the physical sciences where the two, the two meet and whether that's manifest in embedded computers that are embedded in us as human beings, whether it's using biology to, to create energy that is attached to a chip that does things, but it's, it's, it's that intersection of the sort of natural and synthetic worlds that will certainly be the major change going forward. And we will be doing things and wearing things and eating things and, you know, synthetic beef will be part of it and in it will be you know some of the 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 computing devices that when they're in your stomach make sure that everything's okay in your stomach and report back when they're out of your stomach well probably the most radical work uh done that still has not seen the light of day uh is the work of a man named Joe Jacobson, where he was communicating wirelessly directly with cells in the human body. And that's pretty interesting, if you can sort of communicate directly with cells in the body. Uh, and, and that probably will have some pretty big uh, effects 10, 15 years from now. Uh, by chance, the same person, 15, almost 20 years ago, uh, invented electronic ink, which is the display medium used for every ebook distributed so far. So it's, and that had a pretty profound effect that you could make a display medium that used no power once the image was on it and reflected and is more paper-like than your laptop.